Here we are on Historic Canyon Road and we're going to pay a visit to fine artist Ronnie Layden in his Santa Fe Gallery. I can see Ronnie down there painting right now so let's go say hello to him. Ronnie! Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, what are you doing? Well, just uh, thought we'd pay you a visit. See what you're up to here today. I'm just gonna pay me. Doing a painting, huh? Oh yeah. Just putting the sky in, huh? Yeah. Nice. Trying to warm it up here. Make a little gradation, you know, make it across darker. Create the atmosphere. Warm it up as it gets closer to the sun there. Red, yellow, and blue. <clears throat> but I'll use a cool and warm yellow. Instead of red, I use lizard and crimson and uh, an orange. And then there's uh, cerulean and cobalt blue. So there's a uh, red, yellow, and blue. There's warm and cool of both. That way I'm able to jump faster. So what I'm going to do is have this side darker because I'm going to have the light coming from this direction to show the atmosphere of the world being round. It's going to be darker in that angle and lighten up out over there because it's that's where the light's coming from. So. Come on across the square and make some interest with it, you know, but it's just, this paint just feels sticky, you know. Thank you. 
how did you get into art? Well, just growing up here in Santa Fe, I just, I just, I aspire. There's inspiration everywhere. I don't know, even though, even that, when I was young, I just, everything was, my mom used to say I'd uh, come in with a leaf and a detail, talk about the veins and the, veins and the leaf. And, so it was just, it was just really uh, fascinated by nature and shapes. And, you know, I just always loved that. I just started drawing since I was real young. And, uh, you know, painting just takes so, actually takes a very long time just with the, you know, the values, the shapes, the brushwork, all that takes a lot of years. So I just drew and, you know, kept, uh, kept after it. Uh, as an artist, you, know, you just, you want to make sure you're always, I don't know, growing, changing or something. So, you know, you just don't get to a point where you're an artist, you're, I think your style develops. I have two different styles now. I just, I just, I just, I designed another style that a lot of people like. This is plain air. Yeah, I, I always paint. I just paint from memory, and uh, my stylized are just. Uh, uh, out of my mind. Someone asked me the other day where that came from, and I told him my mind. <laughs> and, uh, so right now, I'm just sort of laying in my darkest dark, and that's these uh, pine trees up here, the shadow side of the pine trees. <laughs> And uh, and that gets you. Uh, then you then you want to go and find your lightest light. In between there's where all your other values are gonna lie. So it's it's actually where you really want to start. You know. It it. it, it it, it, it gives you your boundaries, you know, you don't want, you find your darkest dark and your lightest light, and you know where everything else fits in between there. So, that's what I'm trying to do here. Paintings, they, they, you know, they kind of they stop the world for you to kind of take it in, and it just, uh, and once you learn how to mix colors, the whole world changes. It's a little trick, these little, the little spots. You gotta darken the value because they come out popping, so you gotta get a little, a little darker in there. 